Earlier this year, I thought I was ready to make the move from the SL2 to the SL3. Now, I bought my SL2 back in 2019. I purchased an M50 in 2020. Um, I kind of thought, well, maybe we'll upgrade to the SL3. So I just kind of thought as time went on that the price would come down. Well, I got on uh, Amazon today and saw that the prices have actually gone up. I kind of thought because of the lack of excitement over the SL3 that the prices would have gone down. But then I started doing a little bit of digging. What I found was crazy. So the SL2, my 2019 camera that's even older than that, but that's when I purchased it for $579. The cheapest one you can find right now is renewed, so uh, it's used, it's $904. And then I kept looking and looking, all of them are renewed, you can't find a brand new one. And then I looked on the official Canon store and saw a body only for the SL2, no lens, just the body, they wanted $1,100 for it. I don't know what happened to the prices of cameras. The M50 is not that much farther behind, but I think the SL2 is a little more robust. I think it's a better camera. I've used them both. I use my SL2 more than I use the M50, even though I'm recording with the M50 now. But here's the thing. As I got to thinking about it, I'm like, okay, with all these prices like this, there's no way that I would purchase a new camera right now. Over the past couple years, and a lot of the TikToks and other short little videos that I've been uh, recording mostly I'm using my phone and so I wanted to put my phone up against my SL2 or even my M50 with Filmic Pro and Moment and just see if it's a legitimate option I want to go over the setup that I use for my iPhone and like I said over the last couple of years I've mostly been using my iPhone with Filmic Pro and I wanted to compare Moment with Filmic Pro today because I think that more and more, especially going down the road with the prices of cameras, no one's gonna wanna purchase those. You know, these, the SL2, the SL3, the M50 are directed at people like me. And if I don't wanna buy it, I can't imagine other amateur videographers and photographers are gonna wanna buy it either. So we need another option. The first setup that I use is this one here. Let's just start with the bottom here. So this is just a Manfrotto mini pixie tripod. I think they're 20 bucks. Uh, this right here the, that I've got it in, the stabilizer is a uh, Ulanzi, I believe it's called a U-Rig. Um, it's about $40, I think. The last time when I bought mine, I think it was about 40. I have a couple of them. All right, so in regards to the microphone, I'm not saying that you have gotta get a Deity, but I will say that audio is very important. You could go with one of the Movo VXR10s. They're 40 bucks, I believe. This one here is the, Mo the Deity D3. It's $100. Um, I actually found one on eBay uh, for less than that, but I don't think you can underestimate the quality of the audio. That's gonna be the most important thing about the videos you're shooting. This is the um, Bowling uh, P1 light that uh, it's an RGB light, but this is also a pretty expensive light. Uh, so I'm not necessarily saying that you got to go and get this one. There's cheaper options out there, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. So this is a setup that I'm going to be using with my iPhone 8 Plus. Okay, so if you wanted to go even cheaper, you can get something like this. This is actually a little lighter, but what I'm going to say about that is I have big hands. Yes, this is lighter. My iPhone can barely fit in there when I want to try to record with it and keep in mind that you've got to be able to plug the microphone in on the side. And if your hands are as big as mine, that's going to be a problem. Uh, this right here is 15 bucks. It's plastic. You put your, your phone right here. This is an Altura. Uh, it's just, you know, a basic, this is Altura would actually even work with the other setup. I just prefer the actual tripod. Um, I've got the Movo VXR10 up here, which again, I said is uh, 40 bucks. And then I've got the aperture light. Like I said, with the bowling, you don't have to go all out with the light. I like the ability to use an RGB, but you know, I mean, if you can't afford a bowling, um, you can go with something like an aperture. Uh, this is a pretty bright light. Uh, this is on, um, the lowest setting right now, but 
yeah, so these are, these are your options. I'm going to use the other setup that I already have rigged up, and we're just going to walk around in my uh, studio here and just kind of record a little bit so that I can show you Filmic Pro and then Moment, and um, we'll see which one's better. Okay, so we are going to start in Filmic Pro. Uh, we're shooting at 1080p, 30 frames per second. And I'm just going to kind of take you around my studio. Uh, I do not have the bowling light on right now. I did where the audio is going through my Deity uh, VMic D3. And we'll just kind of walk around and check out uh, the studio area, I guess. I'll just kind of show you around. So basically, this is my wall of, you know, right here. This is where I collect all these little movie tin posters and everything put them up on the wall because I think it looks cool. So over here, you can probably hear the audio bouncing off of the wall. But if we come over here, you won't hear that. You know, it's it's dampened. You know, you don't really hear my voice bouncing over there at all. At least you should. You should be able to tell the difference there. When I do have time to play video games, this is where I go to do it. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this part just because I'm just trying to give you an idea of how Filmic Pro performs in low light. Uh, we're going to go in a dark area with my bowling light on, and that's going to be the only light, and that'll be kind of the final test. I've got the bowling light on. It's just on two, so you should barely be able to see me. At 25 on the bowling, I really don't want to look at it. It's really bright, but uh, I'm just going to kind of pan around in here in the dark. Here's some Halloween decorations. Um, like I said, this area is just trash. Now, I don't know if so, um, that might be an issue. Okay, so this is going to be the final test here because this is at 50, and I can't imagine putting this up any higher than that. I would not be able to look at the camera. I already don't want to. Um, I'm a little concerned because it kind of seems like filmic's been lagging a little bit and, and I've had this issue before like when I was filming and it didn't really catch up the, it got the video got kind of the audio was fine but the video lagged uh, so I'll be curious to see if that's an issue here uh, we're gonna do the moment app next I'm gonna just pan around again look at the Halloween stuff there we go and we're gonna just kind of come out here And then we're done. That's going to ADP, 30 frames per second. The moment and see what that does. So now we're using the Moment app. These are both paid apps. Spoiler alert here, uh, I already looked at the filmic uh, footage and it's lagging. You know, uh, that's, that's a real bummer. I mean, what's driving me crazy is I have been using that for the last probably two years. Non-stop and never had any issues. The only issue I would have is when you get above like two minutes, um, you would start to get a little bit of audio drift. Um, so the only real alternative there is if you're gonna be shooting like vlogging style like this, that you would cut it off after a minute and a half, two minutes, and just record, hit record again, and you could kind of handle that, you know, but it was annoying, but it was still usable. Um, I don't know if Moment's gonna do that or not. I hope it doesn't. I hope that Moment doesn't lag because I would really love for one of these to be a really good alternative. Um, like I said, Filmic has worked great in the past, but I might be moving away from Filmic if it doesn't, if I can't figure out the problem. You know, I don't know if it needs an update. I'll look into that. I doubt it. Um, my phone updates everything automatically. So anyway, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're going to sit here and just kind of look around. It's some of the same stuff. I want to make sure this is fair. Again, we're at uh, 30 frames per second. Uh, here's my posters again. Just gonna kind of do some of the same stuff that I did before. Uh, videos that it was pretty grainy over here. Um, I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna do the same thing. It's actually, this is not really that fair because this is a little darker over here now than it was. Let me shut that. The AC came on, and this is where the AC's at. So that's going to be annoying. It's going to be loud, but 
Um, this is uh, the bowling light on two, just like with uh, Filmic Pro, but we're now using Moment. So this is on two. There's really no point in even looking around. I doubt you can even see me that well. Okay, so this is Moment now in 1080p, 30 frames per second. With my bowling light now on 25, we'll compare this side by side with the um, Filmic. So this is our Halloween stuff again that I tried to show before and it lagged out. Uh, my messy basement area, my gator jacket. Um, again, see which one looks better. I'm gonna pan around, um, but this is awfully bright. I can't imagine this being at 100. That, that would be insane. Um, so I'm gonna show you the Halloween stuff, pan around the room again, and then we're gonna wrap this up. I'll walk out there with it. Okay, so there's the Halloween stuff. I am not seeing any lag, so that's good. Yeah, so I'm not seeing a whole lot of lag here. Uh, I could actually see it when I was panning on Filmic Pro. That's how I knew it was happening. I have not seen that happen on Moment yet. And if it's not happening on Moment, I'll be honest, I'm probably gonna be making the switch. Uh, Moment's an actually a cheaper app anyway. So um, yeah, let's walk out here and wrap this up. Well, uh, I guess we got our results. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> uh, so with Filmic, we had both video and audio lagging issues. Not good. Um, it's never done that in the past. That's crazy to me that all of a sudden I'm having issues with that now. I don't know if that's a developer thing. You know, I know that there's some extra features and stuff that they're offering now within the app itself. Is this something that they're kind of pulling an apple and kind of slowing everything down on you to get you to upgrade? I don't know, but it's disappointing for sure. Like I, I've been using Filmic Pro for the last two years to shoot short films, uh, to shoot, you know, 30 second clips for TikTok and whatnot, but never had any problems with it. But all of a sudden now it's lagging constantly. Um, I'm going to continue to problem solve there. Hopefully find out what's going on. Moment, the picture actually looks better than Filmic, which is crazy, but uh, it's it's having some audio sync issues, and that is one thing I cannot tolerate. Uh, I don't want to have to deal with audio sync issues. I don't want to go into post and final cut and fix it. It's just not something I want to have to deal with. But if you pin me down and made me pick right now, I'm going to go with Moment just because the picture looks better, I can fix the audio and post. What you can't fix is lag uh, on the video. So right now I'm actually just recording on my iPhone 8 Plus camera, just straight on the iPhone with no apps or anything. Um, we'll see how this works. It's definitely an option. I definitely think you can still use these things, but definitely need a little bit more kind of looking into this to figure out what's wrong. At this point, I'm definitely going to say that no, you cannot replace a DSLR or a mirrorless camera with your phone. Uh, are these rigs that I'm using still beneficial and useful? Absolutely. And I'll still continue to use them. Um, but there are some issues with them. Hopefully I can get those worked out. Uh, you know, but that's kind of the end of the video. Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed, but it is what it is. If, if this video helped you out, you know, if you made a decision to kind of go with Moment or Filmic or not either one of them, um, I, I'd love for you to leave a like. If you kind of know what's going on with Filmic or Moment, either one, and some things that I can do to fix it, then please leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. And I'll talk to you next time.